Hey guys, the next guy here, and after binge watching the entire first season of The Problem Solvers, I decided to compile my favorite moments for each episode for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> Listen, I know it's rated one of the worst cartoons, but you should give it a try. Who knows, you might even like it, like me. With that being said, I hope you enjoy. I'm trying to destroy this factor. Oh, The pilot starts off with a homeless guy finding Alfie. He looks dope. He's cool. It grew up with me and my twin brother, Roba. But anyways, a homeless guy has a brother, a robot. I guess that makes him poor too, I guess. Oh, snap. The homeless guy gets up to wake up Alfie and a funny moment ensues. Yeah, it'll work. Alfie, really? We're dead meat. Mmm, put it in my mouth. Put what in your mouth? The meat. They find a mysterious object in their yard and Alfie asks if they want to call 911. It ends up being a roller skate and they decide they have to remove it before their landlord comes. Fuck it right now. Just so you know, I, I don't have my wallet or my glasses. I just want someone to acknowledge that. Alfie gets distracted and end up leaving them to go grab some food. That leaves the homeless brothers to get sucked up by an unknown force. Roba, hurry up! Are you gonna order? You know you need a quarter for that thing oh, to work! guys! I'm trying to order! It's hard to read without my glasses or my wallet! But yeah, Roba forgot his wallet and glasses. I forgot to note that. Kinda like how I forgot to finish the rest of this episode. In this episode, an elementary school class ages 100 years after being sucked up by the same beings that sucked up the homeless brothers. Did I mention that they all look homeless? I think I did, but they do. And they also have weird voices. What is that? Problem solvers, well, Alfie really, goes back in time using the roller coaster in reverse to de-age the children, thus fixing the problem. The mayor comes with a big ass check only worth $15. Get the fuck out of here with that. He needs to be fired. <laughs> Later that night, after waking up hungry and angry after being paid that cheap ass $15, Alfie decides to go back in time to grab a slice of pizza, causing another problem. Hi, Tux Dog. Greetings, problem solvers. I'd offer you some sorbet, but I'm afraid it'd be wasted on you. It has exotic flavors only a highly refined palate can detect. Huh? With the help of Tux Dog, they end up solving the problem and saving the day. Hooray. And there's one weird scene I want to point out that Roba rubs cream on people when they're asleep, I guess. You got younger. And the anti-wrinkle cream I put on you and me while we sleep is protecting us from aging. Roba, what are you rubbing on me while I sleep? Episode 2, titled Video Games, is about a rogue video game that the problem solvers have to track down and kill. Because it went rogue. It's in the name. Actually, it's not. The rogue video game in question is trying to get people addicted to the game in order to enslave the world. Oh, yeah. And I forgot. The homeless guy name is Horace. Oh, yes, daddy. We have one hard copy of the game. You may play it to look for clues. Horace brings the game home and ends up getting addicted to it. So it's up to the rest of the gang to fix the problem. Just joking, you already know they're gonna go back to text dog. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Oh, yes, daddy. After their visit, they go home and they see Horace has changed. So with the little ounce of courage they have left, Alfe and Roba decides to go into the video game world to help Horace defeat the villain. Oak video game villain ends up being a flying ass head who shoots bullets through his beard. Like, come on, man, you have to admit that's pretty cool. And his voice is hilarious. Oh, that goatee looks very dangerous. Don't worry, we can beat him. You want my main man? People have tried for thousands of years. Oh, dear, he is now trying his powering up. With the power of not caring, the problem solvers defeat the rogue video game, <laughs> destroying it once and for all. I actually enjoyed this episode, especially at the end when the homeless, I mean Horace, speaks Great Japanese. Problem solvers, I've learned you are all great men. Domo arigato very much, oh, Konishi-san. I don't think that's actually Japanese, but we're gonna go with it. In episode 3, K99 and the Little Explorers, 
The problem solvers team up with a robot doll named Jalil White. I mean, K99. Oh, yes, daddy. What's going on? Who are you guys? I don't care. Yes. Of course, I have to mention that Jalil White is K99. That's pretty tough. Oh, man. Uh, hi. We're the problem solvers, and we're here to come up. Can I get a hoya? Hi. What is that? <laughs> Anyways, they help a Girl Scout get her final badge, and they fucked up because that's all she needed to become an alien overruler. You should know that children can't be trusted in any shows, not even the little ones. What? Little girls are garbage, right? Too bad for the little girl not knowing how to dance. The problem solvers, with the help of Alfei coming over his gender identity, saves the day. <laughs> Thus ending the episode. And not Earth. You sacrificed us instead of the entire rest of the world? Lame! <laughs> Episode 3 titled Awesome Bandits is basically street racing but with elevators and the problem solvers is called to infiltrate a group of elevator racers who is pulling devious licks on sweaters. Lame. I know lame but still. I also want to point out how the main officer voice changes midway through dialogue. You can wear it and also use it as a blanket. They're pinching it. So I need you problem solvers to help crack this case. The only lead we have is a picture of the suspect bandits. Wait, that's them? They look so cool. Oh, I want to meet them. Ah, their hair looks dirty. Anyways, Horace has Alpha and Roba act as fellow elevator bandits in order to gain the trust of the perpetrators to dig dirt on them to arrest. It's kind of like 21 Jeb Street, but more like 22 Walk Street. <laughs> you think you can ride with the big boys? Go home, stay walker. And also, the Latina and the bandits group is annoying like hell. I don't think all Latinas is like that. I had a box of... <laughs> what, 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 nigga, you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys race? Uh, you should see our ride. It's got a killer door. After getting the trust of the bandits, except for Stretch, the Latina problem solvers proceed to dig dirt up on them, but Alfe doesn't want to give them up because they're cool. Since you haven't caught the suspects yet, I'm gonna personally guide them myself. If those bandits come, they'll be met by a What is that? Alfe tries to warn the bandits of the cop's shit rocket, but Stretch calls him out as a rat which he is. And speaking of Stretch, she gets too cocky and gets hit by that same shit rocket. Thanks for the wearable mattresses, puppy. You take care now. She knew what time it was. If it hits you, you smell forever. Oh, yes, daddy. Anyways, Alfe comes to the realization that he isn't Vin Diesel and the bandits isn't his family, so he hunts down the head bandit and kills him. I mean, look at him, he's definitely dead. In this episode, a funny face artist's artwork is stolen, so it's up to the problem solvers to save the day. Oh, Derry, what happened to his face? Oh. He needs some milk! Did you know that you can get scared while making a face? You get stuck with it? Buddy knows it too well. There's also mad awkward touching moments in this episode. Too much for me. You have to understand, Tony's been under a lot of stress lately. And Tony is an asshole. He deserves everything that's coming to him. Speaking of which, ends up being Buddy in a plot to scare Tony face stuck because it turns out it was Tony who made Buddy's face get stuck in the first place. Who could have guessed that? Because he's the world's biggest jerk. With the help of Alfie's funny face, they end up saving the town thus solving the problem. Wait a minute, isn't that Latina person supposed to be dead? Also, what the fuck is Alfe? Who knows, we have seven more episodes to go. And until next time, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And yes, see ya.